Nice and loud. He's over. He's dominating you. Know? We do it with our students. We don't tell them to. We stretch with our students. Model the behavior. Don't just be like the fat old ugly PE teacher that you do. Y'all run. Spread them. Yes. Run. Run. Right. You don't have to do every exercise with them, but they will do better if you. Next week, you all will be making your soccer videos, so pay attention to Felix today. Because I didn't, I felt sorry for y'all to do so many. I just, I think, yeah, three videos is enough in a class. It gets too much work if you do more than that, right? That was pretty. So, y'all actually close enough for this. Make sure y'all do all three of them. Do a few of them for chest, leg, and uh, <coughs> Yeah. Uh, 
That was really pretty, Shelby. Good. You look like pros. You can tell she doesn't feel too comfortable doing that. You'll do it. You can do it, right? Nice. Don't forget, y'all have to to uh, assess your peers by today, huh? Oh, I did it last time. You did? Okay. Oh, it's just those four. All right. Okay. Those four questions. Per, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, it's just the four. All right, now we're going to do dribbling. So I need two of y'all to go run and grab a ball real quick. Because everybody... Felix, the camera is barely hearing you. Outside, outlook pass, outside the field, and towards the middle, inlet pass, and then straight the ball. Looks like a professional.
Nice. I'm sorry. Person on the right or left, you have to run to the ball and dribble it down, just like the last rule. But now, instead of giving ground in with passes, you're now going to give air in with passes. Now we're going to work on headers, we're going to work on trapping the ball and kicking in the goal, etc. And the person who does not get the ball on the opposite wing, y'all going to attack the goal for the header. And the person in the middle is just going to throw the ball. So if you don't get the ball, you're attacking the goal. If you get the ball, you're dribbling it down. And the person who hits it from the middle, you're trailing the ball. Make sense? We can walk through the first one and kind of learn. Yeah, you can walk through the first one. Now you're going to dribble down. Sounds hard, doesn't it? Sounds I know it's difficult. That's it.
<clears throat> we do look like beginners. That's okay. We won't by the end of the lesson. Okay, here we go. Passes. Outlet pass. Ripples down. And it goes. It's no different than basketball, it's just different appendages. Right? Like an alley with your feet. Yes. But now it's working better, so I'm gonna call the ball up. So I'm gonna kick out the pass and when you dribble down, keep the ball where you're at though. I'm gonna toss y'all ball for a minute. And then you make sure we all have <laughs> Good job. Y'all are starting to get more comfortable. Looks better. Getting overheated again? No, I have a head in time. I feel like I'm about to throw one. <laughs> Did you ever eat any today? No, but I never eat that. We'll sit down for about five minutes to see. Can we yeah. Uh, now we're just going to do two lines. That can be out about to start to start. So it's two. What we're basically going to do is we're going to have two on offense and we're going to have two on defense. What I want to see y'all come out on defense. So basically, the person right here is going to send the outlet pass to your court. What I want though, I want you playing hard defense on the dribble. I want you to sag off a little bit where they can send the inlet. But I want you to play defense on the guy trailing to try and score. So where they can see what it's like when a defender's there when they attack the goal. But make sure y'all keep sending good inlet passes. Y'all can do on the ground, y'all can do in the air. 
Whatever y'all want. So pass, and then I curl, and you still gonna dribble all the way down, and then pass it back to the switch. Correct. Okay. Correct. Y'all understand? Y'all want to do a walk through first? Yes, it is. There should be more than than that in medicine bowls. Do they not know where they were at? Or just need two? Just need two? How many do you need? I can go back in there. You need me to go get some more? Oops. Yeah, I wanted you to be able to hear. Did you play basketball? You would not relate this drill to basketball drill? You just think about it. Instead of hands, feet. But it's very similar. He's got two defenders. And it's when you put a guard on somebody, it's... Or two on... Well, it's two on two. Can't hear you, Felix. Yeah, you just need to have your big PE voice, cause your camera can't pick you up. All right, now y'all. There you same go. Thing, but now I'm gonna touch y'all head. So you're gonna send an alpha pass to your partner. And you're gonna dribble it down, and I'll toss the header for the guy. Y'all still playing defense in this room? <laughs> So much to think about. Oh, girls against guys. I love it. It's a good drill. Good progression. Drill's a good progression. We 
start it without the defense and then add the defense to it. And you think about how many <coughs> drills we've done so far. It's not just one drill and then play. Yeah, so we're yeah. learning, you know. True. I, mean, I didn't realize that it didn't Yeah, I'm good. We're swapping groups. Claire, go with your group. Yeah, I, I just hope you don't end up with something worse. This is that the weather is just like getting the worst. <laughs> Brittany has definitely got this. Look at that rhythm with the feet. She really picked that up fast, and she's not a soccer player, she's a basketball girl. It's kind of like how we used to do ball, of course it's harder with a ball, I'm sure, and for volleyball with the boxes. Mm -hmm. Very much so. But the box don't move like that. <laughs> but every sport relates to every other sport. That's why I never played soccer though, because I have asthma and I can't. Right. I can't do it. Right. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Asthma and aerobic activity doesn't go together too well. Alright, here we go. Alright, and go. Alright, here we go. Alright, here we go. Y'all look great. You really have to keep control of the ball. I'm saying that it's on a hard wood. Brittany looks awesome. Just looks awesome. Look, my students are looking forward to my class so much they come early. Just can't get away from me. <laughs> oh boy. Can you do that? She's doing it. She, she's awesome, I'm telling you. We knew she was a garden basketball, as agile as she is. Has to be. Jordy's struggling a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you gotta show off for my camera here. You are immortalized on the camera.
not touch the ball, yeah, if you kick a leg and he falls, then it's most likely going to be called. So, the PK line is always 12 yards out, and this is the free, th the free throw line is pretty much the closest I got. So, let me get two kickers over here and two goalies over here. Oh. <laughs> Shelby's going to take him out, right, Shelby? We'll see. <laughs> Great job, Matt. Yeah, let's, that sounds like a better safety issue, right? Revenge is sweet. was great. Did your life flash in front of you? It wasn't very long. It was a very big flash. <laughs> Take her out, Brittany. Take her out. A stutter step is. Yeah, like faking them out. Yeah, faking them out. Yeah. It sometimes does fake out the goalie, but it also affects your shot because you can't kick his horn. But it will get the goalie to dodge one way or another, and you can just kick to the opposite side. Right, Matt? He's ready, he's ready. Is it scary to be over there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at a reaction. I'd be doing the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Can't do it with the camera. I was right. saved it. Let her take her shot and then you have to switch it. Since you want to change up your shot. Mainly whenever you find your one shot, you never want to change it. I mean, even if like people watch the tanks, you can still if you got a good enough kick, you can still make it. Oh! Alright, next thing we're gonna be doing is gonna be gold kicks, guys. <laughs> that was 
<laughs> so cute. All right. Come on, guys. Bring it in. Bring it in. inside the six yard box and right now we're just gonna be using this green box as a six yard box. You can be taken anywhere. You could like most people just place it as like as kids and all that. They place it right at the corner. But you can place it right here anywhere. So whenever you do kick it you want you want to make sure you get the ball as far as possible all the way down the field and you make sure you want to get it up and high up in the air. So like if you, if you would kick it on the ground the yeah the defense could just the, the other the offense the other team could just take the ball and come score on y'all. So I want y'all to line up, get in between the cones, and two uh, two balls, and the other team, the other people go on the other side. Okay, you're ready. Yeah. Ready. Nice. Nice. Ooh. Uh-oh. Somebody's got to go get their ball or sweet talk somebody. Thank you. <laughs> that was high. That was high. Very good. just got so much power there. Lost her shoe. <laughs> uh, does she get extra points if she gets the shoe across the field? Okay. Nice. Nice job. Good. Back up here.
Uh, and I'll Shane, take come with me. six of y'all. I need two uh, guys, Danica, though. Come with Jordy, me. and Matt. Jess. Come on. Do, uh, do you have I, I know everybody by now. <laughs> I'll just. Oh, why don't you hold this camera and I'll go put the other camera on. I'll do double camera work today since I've got you. Hop along. Everything will just be delayed. Everything's just going to be delayed a little bit because it's going to take me 30 minutes to get.
a box. And pretty much a goalkeeper is you just want to get it all the way down the field as fast as possible so you can attack. So I want everybody to grab a ball and line up in between the cones. One group over there, one group over there.
kind of need to make sure y'all on. Y'all need jerseys to make sure y'all on the same team or no? We got it. Thank you. 
Charlie, so he can give you a pass if you miss you. It really doesn't matter. He's open right now. It's open. Yeah. And go.
y'all, make sure that we're going to do passing first. Make sure y'all pass, y'all step into the ball, y'all defense is how y'all do it.
basically took wings. Wings used to get out the pass and they were going to go An inlet pass is going to pass from the outside and be sent in to push the cross. And y'all know the cross there from the soccer? It's the same thing. But what I'm going to do in this drill is you're going to send out the pass to your partner. Your partner is going to dribble down and then send an inlet pass on the ground. Sending a pass on the ground first. We're going to go to the air and get it. You're going to pass back to your partner who's trailing, and you're going to score in the air. Then, once you score, you can get down ball and you can score. Alright, now we're passing it back to them. Are they going to be in front of them? They could be in front or behind. So, make a good pass. Good try, Jeff. Huh? Yeah, like, it's like you don't have to dribble far. Like you can just, like you can just make a touch on it and then send the ball. In. That works better. So, when you get the ball here, just make a quick touch on it in front of you. Yeah, you can 
forehead is going to go to the neck and down. Nice job.